this year is known as my time For 10 to 15 you're mine This is my life as I live with my cat and me What you got to give So sit and explore my life While I walk through life with strife But I'm here for all to show Even those left behind can't glow Okay, now I'm a little more calm and have um I woke up today and she was like right next to me and she wasn't breathing. She was just laying there. She was just laying there, not breathing. Shake her sky, what's the matter? Sky, wake up, she's not breathing, and she was, she was, she was dead. She was my companion, she was my friend. For the past eight years, she, she was my cornerstone. She was the thing that kept me going. She was the thing that kept me sane. I spent all my time alone. And the only thing I have to look forward to every day is like coming home to the one person, the one thing that actually wanted me around, that actually was looking forward to seeing me. That wasn't gonna fucking judge me. It wasn't my friend <laughs> I, have, I have great memories I have lots of video but that's that's not the same <laughs> it's not the same as coming home and seeing her with a smile. My friend is gone. My companion is gone. My rock, my anchor. The one thing I had to look forward to every day, waking up, coming home and going to bed, is gone. All the shit I've been through in my life, this might be the thing that finally breaks me. Life has taken away everything else I've ever had. Life has destroyed everything I've ever built. And now it takes away the one thing that I truly cherished over all other things. You're looking at a broken man, folks. Life has finally broke me. But, as an atheist, and as a non-believer, this is one of the problems we face. Death is death. Life is life, and that's that. We do what we can to enjoy the life we have in the time that we have it. I've spent the majority of my life ignoring that fact. 
and since I've taken a stand and actually tried to enjoy the life that I have been given, life has done nothing but beat me down. And when I was put in the hospital for saving those two girls from getting raped, and had that cat given to me as a thank you, it was a constant reminder that sometimes in life doing the right thing pays off. Then you were better for it. She, she was my anchor for that. And with all the shit that I see going on in the world, all the bullshit and all the killings and the violence and hatred and bigotry and ignorance, she was the one thing I had that wouldn't judge me, wouldn't talk back to me. She was always happy to see me and always glad I was around. I don't know what I'm going to do with the her. In the past, I've had to make some hard choices. And twice before, I have handed her off to somebody else. But in my heart, I knew the people I was giving her to would treat her right. This is not the same, and this is not the same as that. There is no going to see her, there is no coming back, there's no... She's gone. I'm never gonna get her back. Any single one of you that fucking tells me to suck it up and be a man, I will fucking ban your ass from my channel so fucking fast, you won't even know what hits you. With all the fucking... I'm already angry at the world as it is. I'm scared what this is going to do to me. I'm worried. She was my beacon. She's kept me off the streets. She's kept me at work. She's kept me from getting arrested. She's kept me from doing all the things that I should be doing. I'm scared that I don't have her anymore. I'm going to go back to the lifestyle I had before. Because I don't have anything else anymore to hold me down. So I, am, I keep trying to remind myself that this is a part of life. This is something I should should know to expect when owning a pet. But after a while, you just don't think of it anymore. You don't think of them as not being around. And you take you, 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 you take advantage of that. And you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I needed to. Sh I needed to get. I needed to talk, and I have nothing else, and no one else to talk to. I'm sorry.